Today we are at the Queen's School with the current principal, Ms. Jennifer Williams. And I will give Ms. Williams the opportunity of introducing herself and telling us a little bit about how long she has been here at the Queen's School and her interest and the fun that she has been having as principal. Well, first of all, I would like to thank you for the opportunity to have this interview. I am Jennifer Williams and I have been principal for the past four years. Of course, it has been fun. It has been interesting. It has its moments, just like everything else. But I must say that the staff, academic, admin, ancillary, they are very supportive, very supportive of the work of the school, the growth and development of the school, and that is why this year we decided that we were going to go big with just about everything that we do. Wow. Because everyone is on board for the 60th year. Miss Williams, you just said something that is significant to me. Four years. You've only been at the school for four years. And yet, you have regenerated a significant amount of energy and interest in the school such that some of the past students among ourselves... Um, more or less, would like to have this grand gala event to facilitate one of your dreams. Can you tell us some, a little bit about one of your dreams that you hope to accomplish through this gala event? The auditorium, and I'm glad you said one of, because there are many, many more, but we just have to deal with the auditorium this year. The auditorium is my dream, and it's a dream for past principals, and it has been a dream for the Queen's School for many, many years. And I do believe because we have expanded so much, we need an auditorium. We have 1,600 students. Just students, students at the school. School. And while I visited the school, it was something to me to notice that the school's students are standing in the sun during devotion, devotion every morning. I suppose, what happens when it rains? What happens when it rains? We just have form devotion. And what happens when you have an event that you need to, you know, graduations and so on? Where do you have those functions? Those functions are actually on the holy ground. But I must admit that in my first year, what struck me was the prize-giving ceremony. I remember as a child growing up, Prize giving was for everyone within the school, whether you were receiving a prize or not. And it was also used as a motivating factor Absolutely. within the school mm -hmm. for those who are not achieving as not much, there yet. right, to mm -hmm. see that, okay, yes. yes. And so you look forward to the prize giving. Yes. And of course, that opportunity is not there for everyone at the Queen's School. It's limited. You can't have everyone Right. We, we have so persons who we just have to invite, as in representatives from the forms. Right. And when you have a form of 46, 47, and the representation is 5 limited. and 10, you know really you are not capturing. That's very sad. Right. That's very sad. So we would really want an auditorium to house 2,500 persons, and we are looking at all stakeholders. Yes. So prize giving would have the venue mm -hmm. on the compound where everyone will be allowed to attend. And of course, this year was the biggest graduation ceremony. I am not sure if it is because, again, we were celebrating 60 years and so we were telling everybody that it's going to be big and better. So we had quite a number of parents and relatives turning out and a number of them yes. were standing. So again, we would have wanted to have housed everybody right. in the grand multi-store auditor um, story auditorium. Yes, understood. And for that reason, we the past students, and the past students include all past students of all the years that have gone by. We are seeking to have some special guests attend. Would you like to tell us about some of the persons who will be attending and the main guest speaker and who you are pretty happy to see that will be participating in this exercise? Well, because I am 
more of the performing arts. Let me start there with Karen Smith. I know she is a well-known singer and I know she will bring two persons who are in attendance, the entertainment of class, and we are looking forward to having her at our gala. And of course, we have our own Lisa Hanna, who will be there, and she will be one of the recipients. I understand. Yes. Senator Jim Dopey, <laughs> and she will be coming from, she, from Canada. From Canada was, to do to be our guest speaker. One of the first graduates of the Queen's School in 1959 was was the year. And yeah, and I look at Mrs. Gopi and I say to myself, "Wow, she graduated in 1959." There's not much change. Eh? <laughs> yeah, I her. But you know, it is good that you have regenerated the interest. It's commendable, and we're hoping that this event will be hugely successful. A lot of people have asked about the cost, but um, the class has been mindful that this is to regenerate interest, honor some of our past students, and it is expensive to do so in an event such as this, and yet we need to raise funds for this auditorium. So we need to have something left in the kitty. Yes, the tickets are a little bit pricey, but we're encouraging persons. Do you want to talk a little bit more about that, Miss? Williams? The cost is $12,000 and we are fully aware that it's challenging times but at the same time because we wanted to create the environment for persons who are spending that kind of money we wanted them to feel comfortable in the environment we have put in place a lot of things at the event that would make them feel that we should really have charge 15 15 000 and not the 12. but i do understand but we ask for the support of everyone if you are not able to attend for some reason or the other you can sponsor a ticket you can give money towards a ticket but any little thing can help us in achieving our goal which brings us to another point we have an account that has been established at Jamaica National. Would you like to tell us a little bit about that? And, you know, we have many people opening accounts and access is presumed by many that it will go off to yet another fund that will be wasting people's input. Please speak a little bit to that so that people can be assured that all, emphasis on all we'll, funds raised... We'll, we'll go to our auditorium down right. there, right. I can assure you because what we have done I have heard the concerns, so we have opened this account that will allow for both persons overseas and locally to put money into their account. It's at Jamaica National. And of course, I can assure you that all the money that is put in there... What did there, you say, Miss William? Did you say all? all did you? Yes. All. Every bit of it. Because we'll be going it, towards what? the auditorium and I can even make you feel more comfortable it is called the Queen's auditorium account so only the auditorium will be the, the funds there will be used to build that auditorium who is supervising this fund? well of course it is supervised by the members of the board so you know even if someone was to come in and take over the account, the name of the account stands there. So in other words, you can't even wonder why this money is there. It is for the auditorium. And it is for the Queen's School and the girls who attend the Queen's School, School will benefit. Thank you right. so very much, Miss Williams. It was a we, pleasure. We appreciate the effort that you've made to rebuild the interest in, your, in this wonderful school that I attended however many years ago we will discuss that at the moment. <laughs> thank you. We wish you all the success in the world. Well, let me use this opportunity to thank all past students for the contribution so far. And I'm looking for greater things next year. I know that, you know, the 60th celebration may have come on suddenly for some persons, but I am really thankful that persons have come on board and I would love for them to visit the school. The girls are always very happy to receive them. We are always very happy to receive them. And even if it is not monetary, you can come and have devotion 
with the girls. You can come and sit in a form time and talk to the girls. Let them know that, hey, we were once here, rules were here just like now, and we had to live by it. But again, I would like to thank all the past students. And for those who are not yet on board, I am asking that come back and give support to the school. Thank you so much, Ms. Williams. You're most Wishing welcome. you continued success here at the Queen's School. Thank you.